welcome back to my channel so I know it's been a while since I filmed a video but I have been buying makeup of course and of course I wanted to make sure that I give you guys a review on this palette because Beauty Bay does it for me with their eyeshadow color stories. So the first Beauty Bay palette that I ever purchased was the Wilderness palette. This palette I think came out a couple months ago. It looks like that and I was so inspired by this palette by the co uh, color combination and the color stories and I definitely wanted to pick it up and shipping and everything was just so seamless so when I saw that they released the opulence or the age of opulence palette I really wanted to get it this is what the palette looks like and when I saw this palette I was truly truly inspired by all the uh gem colored eyeshadows like this is such a beautiful palette the palette does have some neutrals to it like there are um, three I would say four matte neutral shades counting the black and one two three four five neutrally goldy bronzy leaning eyeshadows which I was really impressed with upon application now the majority majority of the palette is a blue purple color story with a splash of that pink there but I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette one of the things I love about it is just how deep the shades go and I did swatch or I did like the way the black swatched and I did play with the black in this look very minimally but I was still very impressed with how it blended um so that is it for pretty much the color story I do want to also mention some of the names of the eyeshadow palettes like RSVP Speak Easy is literally my favorite shade in the palette. That's the one that I did use in the crease today for this look. And then the one beneath it, which is called Jazz, is another uh, eyeshadow that I did use. Jazz is sort of like a bronzy shade with purple and gold sparkles through it. And I also want to give a shout out to Crush because Crush is sort of like that rose gold, flaky, very sparkly, high shine shade that you can use in the inner corner of the eyes just to bring some light, which I did do today. I don't really have much to say about this palette except that if you are someone that just love experimenting with different shades I feel like this palette is just perfect enough to allow you to go more neutral leaning or more colorful leaning um, I will say if you guys are curious about my thoughts with the wilderness palette I of course have been using this palette non-stop for the past month or so since receiving it and I love this one as well so let me know if you want a video or anything on this palette but today's video it is going to be on the age of opulence palette which as I said is Ooh, I cannot wait to play more with these shades. So if you guys want to see the look that I did with this palette, make sure you stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, guys, so let's begin with this tutorial. I'm first going to go in with that shade called Silk Stockings. There are two very light matte shades in the palette. Silk Stockings, as you can see, is the one that suits my complexion the best. Next, I'm going to go in with Speak Easy, and I'm going to use this. I think this is a MAC 217 brush. I'm going to go in, and I'm just going to pack these eyeshadow, this eyeshadow on my outer crease. I'm going to pack it until I'm satisfied with the opacity and then I'm going to go in and just start to bring that color into the crease. And while I'm bringing it into the crease, I'm not doing windshield wiper motions as we've all been told to do. I'm literally just patting that shade, just like small little 
pats so that it's not only packing the shade on but it's starting to blend the edges of the shade this is also a tip I can offer you guys for any of the shades that are in this palette whether you are very fair skin or a darker skin tone like myself or even deeper this technique works with most eyeshadows especially really dark eyeshadows it's amazing to just pack the shade on and then just blend the edges so that it almost look like you use about three or so different shades but in reality you only used one <laughs> The next thing I'm going to do is to use this Makeup Forever pencil. I don't remember what the number is, but I will definitely leave it in the description box. I also think that Makeup Forever has reformulated their pencils or their their eye pencils. Um, and they did actually send me these, but I think since then they've reformulated. So I will use the leave the color down below, but I'm just not sure if it's going to be the same product. Next, I'm going to use a black pencil and I'm going to tight line the upper lash line. This is very difficult, as you can see, because you can literally poke yourself in the eyeball. But it just makes a difference, especially when you put your lashes on. It just pretty much make it look seamless from your lashes your own lashes to the actual extensions once that do that's done I'm gonna go back in with the shade speak easy and I'm just going to blend and smoke out that lower lash line I'm not done yet with the smoking out but guys I'm just gonna go back and forth with the speakeasy and the silk stockings and just blend and smoke out the lower lash line Okay, so once I'm satisfied with how smoky my lower lash line is, I'm going to now work on the lid. This is a step that I pretty much never skip in my eyeshadow application. I always go in with NYX Glitter Glue only because shimmers, whether they have sparkles or a metallic finish just has a better payoff for me when I use this product first it also ensures that wherever I lay my shimmers down that's where they stay it doesn't transfer to my lid I mean to my you know places where it shouldn't go and this is very important to me because if you have any type of hooded lid this is a step I would say that you should not skip always try to use a base first so that your eyeshadows stay where you apply them. The other thing is that it also ensures that your makeup lasts all day or all night, if so. Like I think that I can put my makeup on in the morning and by night everything still looks perfect and it's things like this I do that helps me. I don't think it's cheating in a eyeshadow um, palette review because this is something that I pretty much never skip. As you guys can see, this is a very metallic looking eyeshadow. It, as I said in the um, intro, it does have purple specks to it as well. So this is not your typical bronzy shade. And I'm just going to pack it on until I am satisfied with how metallic this shade is looking, which it's, it's getting there. So this is how the look is looking so far but for me personally I like to use a shade that blends my crease shade to my lid shade and for that I use the shade Ace which is the deep um, sparkly purple metallic shade in the palette.
So next I'm going to use the shade Crush and I'm going to use that spritz with just a little kind of a face spray just to ensure that this shade lays down um, better. Crush is a different texture. It's very flaky, but it's very, very pigmented. And I think that if this should be applied on the lid with the NYX glitter glue, it would just look insane. So I can't wait to try this shade on the lid. Okay, so I really wanted to try out the black in the palette, so I'm going to use it to kind of define my lower lash line as well as using it as a eyeliner for my upper lid. As you guys could see, that's the difference with it lined with the black versus without the black. I think it adds that extra depth to the look. Also guys, I would love to hear your opinions on certain eyeshadow palettes including a black. I personally don't want it in every eyeshadow palette that I buy from Beauty Bay. For example, I know Pat McGrath does this where she adds a black in a lot of her palettes. And I think for the price, it's just not necessary to repeat the black all the time. But I think in this palette, because the shades are so deep and so... Um, uh, gem colored and very rich in pigmentation I think that black is just a natural addition to this palette so here I'm not I'm not mad at it and especially for the price point I can do with a shade that is going to help me to smoke out the look a little bit more and you guys are seeing that I'm actually using this black as a eyeliner so it does serve its purposes Okay guys, so that is it for this look. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it's a little late, but I hope you guys were able to kind of get some new, fresh perspective on the Age of Opulence palette from Beauty Bay. In case you guys didn't know, I do give this a thumbs up, and I think you guys are going to love and enjoy this palette, especially for the price point. Thank you so much for watching this video and for subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.